I recently uploaded a video showing how you can use Certo iPhone Pro to detect spyware that's installed on your iPhone. Today we're going to take OwnSpy for a test drive. This is a demo version that you can get on their website and you'll get an idea of what people can see on your phone without you even knowing about it. The crazy thing is that this software will hide itself and there's really no way that you can detect it without using a third party software that will look for the installation. And other than that, you pretty much would have to restore the entire phone. And even then, I'm not 100% sure that that would solve the problem. If you're interested in this kind of stuff, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoy the video, please press the like button below. I really do appreciate it. All right, let's go into Cydia. And then we're going to search for something called OwnSpy. There's supposed to be a demo version we can try out for free. So we'll hit the search. And there it is, OWN, and it comes up right here. We'll go ahead and install this. Okay, let's restart. And all right, what do we have? Here's the icon. And it looks like we're going to have to verify our email, so I'll go ahead and do that now. And there's your legal disclaimer. Go ahead and send the confirmation. And then I imagine once we get that email, we can go ahead and punch in the code here. All right, so I've got my authorization code somewhere. Okay, 414728. Okay. Now it looks like we need to go back to ownspy.com to complete it. We'll do the finished installation here. And then I would imagine that icon will disappear. And there you go. So we have deleted the icon on the phone. And let's just for the heck of it, let's go over here and see if we can type in the name of the app. And of course it uh, only shows some emails we had here. So that's good news. Of course, we do still have Cydia showing up here, but there are ways to hide the Cydia icon. And previously, you could use SB settings to do that. Right now, it's not supported on this particular iOS, but there are other methods out there that you can make this icon disappear. So in case that happens, the Certo software is supposed to not only detect the spyware, but tell you whether or not the phone is jailbroken, which it did when we tested it. So let's go ahead and finish this installation online and then see what exactly we can observe about the phone's activity. When I first opened the website, I was impatient. I just figured everything would show up right away. But if you click this drop down over here on the right hand side and select the sync option, give it some time and be patient and you will start to see things appear on the screen. You can see now that the phone is connected to Wi-Fi, the battery is at 73% and there's a progress icon there spinning around. If you go over to the left here and click on the stats drop down, there's a location option. But once again, you do have to be patient. Initially, I did not wait long enough. So we'll come back to the GPS here shortly so that you can see the location of the phone. All right, so over here, if we click on the stats option, you can see a little bit of information about how the phone is used where it's used the most often. We've got these nice little pie charts here. If you click on the SMS, you'll see recent messages and where they went. Under mail, you'll see the email headers. And if you select any of these items, it will open a dropdown and show you the contents of each email message.
If you select live audio, the phone will transmit whatever sound is going on in that environment and you'll be able to hear it through the browser on the website. Unfortunately, my screen capture software does not allow me to record that audio, but it will also create a recording on the website that you can go back to and listen to later on if you want to record a time interval. On this screen, you can see the apps that are currently running on the device. So we can go ahead and take a look at the web history of the phone. It shows you the sites that were recently visited. Under the photos, for some reason, it did not load any pictures in the beginning. Later on, it loads one, but not the majority of what's in the camera roll. So I'm not sure why that feature is not working. We can go into call history, see who was called, what time of day, and the duration of the call. All of the information that you would get from the phone's call log if you actually had it in your possession. If we go over here to the address book, you can see all sorts of information here. And again, I had to block this stuff out. This is my personal information here, but there are tons and tons of contacts that, uh, I mean, pretty much everything here, all of your contact information. So we're gonna go back to the SMS and what you can do here is I've deleted most of my text messages off of my phone I wanted to leave at least one or so here so that you can see it but if you click on the the uh, drop down or select the item here it will show you the dialogue so I'm sure that the whole conversation would appear here again I only have one outgoing message at the moment but there you have all your SMS your call history is going to show up here and pretty much everything on the phone that you could probably access from looking at it. The only thing I have not been able to figure out is the photos for some reason. So we go to the photo, we can look at the picture, but we I'm not seeing all of my photos from the phone for some reason. I don't know why you'd want to see the keyboard, but there is This is a recording of the keyboard inputs. I just realized I had created some fake contact information here and it recorded everything that I've typed into my keyboard recently. I don't have WhatsApp, but if I did, I would assume you'd see all the messages here. And the same would be true for Snapchat, QQ chat, WeChat, and I'm sure that they update this on an ongoing basis. Here you can see that a 40 second sound file was created when I clicked on the record option, let it run for a little while and then stopped it. So this is gonna be kept on their server until you delete it. And of course, anyone who can log into the site can play back whichever, any of these files that are stored there. So if we go to the dropdown over here on the left-hand side and click on location, here's where it gets even creepier. You can take a look and see the exact location of the phone, either by map or satellite. And let's zoom in here a little bit. And it will take you, I mean, right to the location you're at. I tested this at the house and it will show your location, I'd say probably within 50 feet. So right now we're at an intersection here and you can go back through this little log and click on different times of day and see where the phone was at that time and we can see the entire route uh, where it went. I mean, it's just really scary. This is not something I want on my phone, obviously. So we've got satellite and map. Uh, I don't know about terrain, if that makes any difference. Obviously this is all based on Google Maps, but you can really just see where the device is the entire time and what the person using it is doing. If you found the video helpful, hit the like button and feel free to share it on the social network platform of your choice. Check out some of my recent repair and product review videos and visit us on the web at gocellphonerepair.com. Thanks for watching.